What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here and I love making just a ton of Peloton content. So we're just going to get right into it today. I'm going to be trying out the new Peloton class type called Bike Boot Camp. So Bike Boot Camp is a lot like their boot camp that they offer on their tread in the sense that you do cardio, you do full body strength, you do cardio again, you kind of mix it up in between. It's a lot like Barry's Boot Camp, which is a boutique fitness club. And I'm sure there's a lot of other boutiques that offer pretty much the same exact kind of workout. I'm a huge fan of Barry's Boot Camp, but I've actually never done the Boot Camp classes on the Peloton because I don't have a treadmill. So this was really exciting when this came out. This is like right up my alley, something I'd be very interested in doing. Reading up on this class, it seems like they released this class to try to push their Bike Plus which is their new version of the bike that I think costs the same as their old bike and then they lowered the prices of the old bike that they had. I don't even have the Peloton, it's just a knockoff like echelon cheap bike. But I do take all the Peloton classes and I really love emulating the Peloton experience. They seem to be pushing the bike plus for these classes because you can rotate the screen. So they're like, be on the bike, and then rotate the screen so that you can see it when you're on the mat because you need to be on a workout mat while you're doing the strength but you still need to see the screen. I definitely think that there's some things that are going to be bulky while transitioning. The biggest thing is on the peloton you clip in with bike shoes so for the strength part you're going to have to clip out change into normal workout shoes because you can't do the strength part when you're in these bike shoes and then change back to get back on the bike. I did read an article that was like, we give you time to do this, but I just feel like that's gonna be a very bulky transition and not a good experience. Fortunately, I actually have normal pedals that are just cage pedals on this bike because it's a cheaper bike. So I wear normal shoes the whole time, so I won't experience that, but I am interested to see how much time they give you between the two segments because who wants to just continuously change their shoes? But yeah, there's nothing else you can do. You have to do it. With the announcement of the bike boot camp, they released four classes, three 30 minute classes and one 45 minute class taught by Jess Sims, Robin Arzan, and Cody Rigsby, which seems like they're gonna kind of be the pilot instructors, although it's not clear when more are gonna come out. These just dropped on demand, so I don't know if they're going to drop on demand every Wednesday, if there's gonna be live classes. I tried to look in the schedule on the future and online, but it's not clear when new classes will come out. So we kind of have these four classes right now. Out of those classes, I would be most interested in taking the 45 minute class because that kind of mirrors Barry's Bootcamp the most, where you do cardio, floor, cardio, floor while the 30 minute classes do cardio, floor, cardio. So I am gonna be missing that last floor segment in the 30 minute class that I'm going to take, but I could just do a Peloton floor class afterwards to kind of emulate that anyways if I wanted to. The reason why I'm doing a 30 minute class is because actually some of these classes require you to have multiple sets of weights. In San Francisco, where I'm currently living, I only have three pound weights. I would classify those as light weights and that even might be too light. Like sometimes they consider light weights to be five pounds. And then you also need medium weights, which I guess would be like 10 to 15, which I don't have. So I just can't do those classes. So I am looking forward in the future if they do have more classes that just involve the workout mat. And I chose to do Jess Sims class because as far as I know, she seems like the best known boot camp instructor on the tread. People are really hyped for her, so I'm hyped to try out her bike boot camp class. The 30 minute class I'm gonna take with Jess Sims is a four minute warm up on the bike, five minutes normal cycle, 13 minutes full body, eight minute normal cycle, and then one minute cool down also on the bike. So let's just get into it and I'll give you my final thoughts after I complete this workout. I'm very excited to try this, it's something new. Pretty much ready to go, got my water bottle, my towel for sweat, and I have this bookmarked. So 30 minute bike boot camp body weight with Jess Sims. So let's start.
really appreciate that this class was pretty much completely done on a yoga mat. You can see that it's literally right next to my bed here. So I was very worried that I was going to hit my bed if you had to like jump off the yoga mat. But I am glad that they recognized that not everybody has a huge workout space. So I thought that was another very awesome thing that they thought of and took into consideration when creating these classes. I just finished the boot camp. I am very sweaty. My initial thoughts is I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I've done a lot of rides that has arm workouts in between and I felt that the transition was very clunky between the cycling and then like doing arms workout and then cycling again. And although the transition's like pretty long because you're getting off the bike, they have to give you time to change shoes and then you get on the mat, I really kind of like the integration of doing some cardio, doing floor, and then doing cardio again. And I would definitely do classes like this in the future. I thought it was a really cool way to exercise and a different way to exercise on the Peloton. It seems like they gave you about 45 seconds to change your shoes, which seems like the appropriate time. I think I could change mine in 45 seconds, but it was definitely nice to just have the break for 45 seconds because essentially that is your break. You're doing sets all the other times and you aren't really gonna get a break otherwise, which also makes sense. They wanna cram as much workout into the 30 minutes as possible. I really like Just Sims. I have taken classes of just floor from her before, and she's definitely my favorite floor teacher. I looked and this is her first time on the bike, and she says that in the beginning, that she's like super happy to be able to teach classes on the bike. And I feel like her sets on the bike were a little bit simplistic, but I think that'll also get better with time. And then there's also a time constraint that each set can only be like eight minutes. We just did a normal warm up, high cadence, low resistance. Then we went into eight minutes of resistance pushes, which was just 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Obviously push your resistance way up on the 30 seconds on. Then we went to the floor segment where we did three movements and repeated that three times. And then we did three minutes of alternating lunges and push-ups, which I thought was ample for the floor section. Feel like I got a good floor workout. Then we went back to the bike for eight minutes of cadence pushes, which essentially the same thing as the resistance pushes. You just go faster for the 30 seconds you're on, rest the 30 seconds you're off. And then we just did a normal cool down. I definitely feel like this was kind of a simple workout and it was tagged as beginner. I'm not strong. I would not consider my strength to be on par with the normal Peloton person and I could easily do this workout. So if you are really into floor and strength, you probably need to do at least an intermediate class. And likewise, I found the biking portion pretty easy. Obviously you can like push yourself. So for cadence, you just go faster. Resistance, you just add more resistance. But this class is definitely really good for a beginner that's just kind of looking to get into it and you don't have to be a strength or biking master. I did really enjoy Jess Sims as an instructor. I have taken floor classes from her before that I really like and I would definitely take bike boot camp classes from her in the future. But I'm definitely looking forward to trying out Robin Arzans or Cody Rigsby's classes just to see what else they can bring to the table. But overall, the bike boot camp is a 10 out of 10 for me, but definitely take the class again. And I'm very excited that Peloton has offered a new kind of class to take. That's it for this video. Let me know if you try the bike boot camp classes and what you think. I hope you guys are staying safe. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!